there. Supremacy before it is too late. Our numbers are waning thanks to the fools in Congress Ooh, and their just... ludicrous no. ideas. Damn. Hell with but today, we grow one yeah. more yeah. Yeah. as we yeah. anoint a new brother yeah. into you our sacred cause. Yeah. Please step yeah. forward and Woo. kneel. Do you choose to accept the light? Yes, sir. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Yeah. All right. Come on. Yeah. Let go. The eternal ah. light shines. Yeah. 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 Down you go. God damn hooded rodents. I'll kill all you bastards. Uh-huh. Yep. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. On this episode, we are doing some, you know, just some side stuff. Um, we're going to go visit Billy Midnight here in a second and I might just we might just rob a coach with Bill but uh yeah I'm just m mostly just gonna see me riding around for a little bit until morning but yeah let's get into it guys Execution, the gallows right there. The Rhodes gets up early. What can I do for you? Photographs. Billy Midnight. No man ever died for all I could have done more for you. How's about that? Billy, born Wilhelm Schnell, the man who killed Rabbit Matthews. Little known about Midnight before killing. Thought to have been Matthews' rifle cleaner and stable boy. New Callaway then. Overnight sensation gained slash national celebrity. Speaking tours, then reenactments from St. Louis to San Denis, San Fran, etc. Received death threats and suffered attempts on his life. Now a recluse for regular sightings at Rhodes train station. Ask for him there, question mark. All right. So here we are at the Rhodes train station. Uh, wander on in and ask about Billy Midnight, I guess. Son of a bitch can kiss a grizzly's ass for all I care. Really? Gentlemen. Hello. 
Nice to see some friendly faces around here. Nice around here. I'm kind of new to these parts. Mm-hmm. Voice actor sounding familiar. Sir, welcome back. What am I missing here? They've run out of our favorite scotch. Again. Just how it is. Farewell. Thanks, partner. Don't rush me. I'll get to you. Some damned heathen had the impudence to assault a lady on her way into the park. Well, hello again. I got another one. Then. You interested? Mm. Billy Midnight. Where is he? All right. Well, come back if you change your mind. Hello, do. gentlemen. Can we hope for some hey, you know if any Pinkertons have been seen around here? Sorry, I do not know. Well, that's just fine, then. <laughs> Finally, got it to trigger. Go ahead and get in here and talk to Alden. Alden, I need a word. Hello, you. What can I help you with? There's an old gunslinger I'm looking for. I heard he comes through here. Name of Midnight Billy. Oh, that old soak? Yeah, he spends days on board these trains, but he's going nowhere but the gutter. I imagine you'll find him right in the next one through here. Either that or the next one. Try them both. Look in the bar car. No Billy Midnight here. We got fans though, that's cool. That guy ain't Billy Midnight. She definitely isn't. And she really, really isn't. This looks like the bar car. Don't get hit, Giovanna. Mr. Midnight? Excuse me, I'm trying to drink. Mr. Midnight, listen, this won't take a moment. I just want to talk with you about your old days as a shootist. Get away from me! Hey! I didn't shoot him in his sleep! No one's I saying I didn't shoot that... him in his sleep, and if I did, it was the only way! Not a problem. I'm here about Jim Boy Calloway, and no one shot him yet. I knew you'd come for me! Get away from me! Mr. Midnight! Uh. Come on, run, Arthur, run! I knew you'd come! But you ain't getting me! I knew you'd come! 
got him. We got him and we got him good. Whoa, whoa, I don't want to get me out of here. Get me out of here. Guys, welcome to Saint Denis. First time we'll be here. the train and uh, let's get right back on another one and head back to Rhodes. We got out of Giovanna's range. Why don't you just stow that gun, huh? Yep. I don't see a reason for it. Bien le bonjour, monsieur. Ladies. Y'all doing all right? I'll be tending to you shortly. Traveling mercies to you. All right, all right, right back to Rhodes. Now leaving San Denis. We were not here very long, but uh, I got other, uh, and I'm not opposed to exploring San Denis. You know, at this point in the game, but uh, there's other stuff I want to do this episode that doesn't involve going around. Going around the biggest city in the game. And it's not close. <laughs> Poor Billy Midnight. Giovanna's still out of range. Where is she? No, 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 no. Don't want to be in settings. I definitely don't want to be in social club. She's 
she get stuck? Yeah, I ain't out to to rob the train, guys. This is the Rhodes train station, you know. I, I we ain't causing trouble in Rhodes, guys. And take it easy. I'll rob some other train some other time, perhaps, but not right now. She made it to Saint Denis. Are you kidding me? Shoot. Can't stir up trouble in Calaga Hall. I'm working with Sheriff for Sheriff Gray. Yeah, this ain't good. I ain't trying to, I just don't want to run back to camp, but at this rate, I probably could have and just called and been about there and just called Giovanna back. If only there were a stable in Rhodes. Well, here's what's left of the tobacco fields. You know, they don't all look so bad. It's a little black. Oh, that, we didn't get that one. So that one's doing pretty good, actually. You know? Caliga Hall is pretty close to San Denis. I mean, I know this... Is it? Is this San... Get me out of the settings. No, it's not. This isn't quite San Denis, but it is just across the bridge. Is it her? Yeah. Good girl. Rode all the way to San Denis for me. Just couldn't quite do it while I was there. Let me get my wind back, girl. Gosh, there's a lot of stuff to do in San Denis. I wonder if I'll get any of it this chapter. I mean, a lot of it's just shops and shows and bounty posters, but I wonder if I will get any get to any of that this chapter. We shall see. I'll, t I'll actually will take the road this morning. Help! Somebody, please help me! Oh, hey, you! Please! Gotta help me! 
Some fellas broke into our place. I got away, but they got my wife. Please, mister. We got to do something. All right. Where is she? It's a sack down in the swamp by the water. All right. <laughs> okay. Go on. See if you can find the law. I'll do what I can. In the bayou now, guys. We are in the bayou now. What the heck is, is that his wife? Midnight's pistol is pretty good. Oh, please, 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 untie me now. Sorry I weren't here sooner. Oh, 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 thank the Lord you showed up when you did. You saved my honor. Nice. Christ, what a mess. Would you please get them out of here? I can't stand to touch them. And I don't want to ride indoors. Yep. Get these guys to float away. Just one more. Be all right. There's some money I put away in the sack there. It ain't enough, but please take it. You're all right now, ma'am. It's over. Let's hope my Horace found another guardian angel like you. Oh, thank you again. You're my guardian angel. Appreciate it. Good luck to you. Alright, we did the right thing there, guys. I assume this, uh, this okay, is a, girl. this enemy is a gator. Didn't see his see her husband again. Back out of the bayou now. Oh, 
I'm guessing there's some story behind that blood on you. How you doing? This Hell, Logan. This gives me the creeps. Always has Road well, well, girl. Me too. I thought we could do well here. I hope so. It feels... It feels like we're living with ghosts. It feels... To me, it feels like what I've always said. America is man set free for good and bad. And this place, oh, this is the bad. Greed, delusion, all oh, these people are rotten. And they have always been. No, it isn't that. They're good people here. Good and bad. Sad thing is, good people do bad things. <laughs> like us? Exactly. Just like us. But we... My daddy... We fought these people. Sure. And they were fighting something else, and they did bad things. Such as the world. Why is it like that? I have always wondered. Why ain't we better? Now that... That I don't know. Me neither. Me neither. Excuse me. Now those are some problems we really can't solve. It's true. You two confuse the hell out of me. So what's well, wrong with you? you? Hey. Excuse me. I have excused you quite enough. Go sleep it off, you drunk. Is that clear? Okay. Okay. Still reading, I see. Yes. Hi there, Arthur. I'm done you working. Hear me? Uh, I'm not. Shows up. Miss Scrimshaw. I know you work hard. There is. There is something about you, Mary Beth. Hey there. There really is. Thank you. Quite a lady she's becoming. <laughs> really, quite something. <laughs> Sorry, partner. The old Dutch charm. I guess so. Well, I ain't saying nothing. Okay, I'll catch you later then. All right, Arthur. How are you, John? Hello, good sir. Hey. Hey there. Hey. Mood seems pretty good around here. I guess. 
Well, uh, guess we should enjoy it while it lasts. Hosea. Hey. Everything okay? Well, I'm still alive. Well, let's keep it that way. Thanks. Sure. And fine conversation. Why do you feel the need to talk so much? Oh, why do you feel the need for silence? How's it going? Uh, so, hey, so. Lenny. You and me both. Arthur. Hi, Lenny. We need to hunt for some right? better meat. Thanks, Arthur. Keep at it. Sure. Hello, Mr. Morgan. Oh, damn. What? Forgot to drop some of that loan money in the box. Guys, let's see what Sean wants to do. You joining us here, Arthur? Careful. Don't you like me no more? Don't worry, I'm just playing with you. Arthur's being mean to me. I better I got I got business. To attend to business. Hey, Sean. Yeah, what's up, big man? How much? What are you doing? Nothing. Nothing at all. I brought. Oh, hello, Arthur. And what's she doing? <clears throat> She's doing nothing too. <laughs> what exactly are you planning? Just a little late robbery, Arthur. Nothing that serious fella like yourself needs to worry about. And you need to get Mary Beth killed as well as yourself? Away with yourself, Arthur Morgan. We'd be getting rich, not killed. Besides, Arthur, I'm so bored, I'd rather be shot. If you insist, <laughs> I'm in. We don't want you in. We got this ourselves. <laughs> I've seen you fight, little fella. You can kill any one of us. But I ain't letting you take her out, Robin, not without an extra gun. But she'd be acting, not fighting. Sounds good. Come on, then. Let's go rob this. Who we rob? A stagecoach some fella told me about. Oh, wonderful. Come on, you can tell me more on the ride. <laughs> Where are we heading? Back up north. It's coming down from Valentine. I know a great spot nice. to set up an ambush. Just don't start acting like you're the lead on this, like you always do. Wouldn't dream of it. <laughs> Mary Beth's horse, or is that somebody else's horse? So, Mary Beth, like I said, you'll be at the side of the road to flag them down. Give them some sob story. Yes, of course. Easy enough. We'll be hiding up above. Once they're unawares, I'll put in a few shots to let them know we mean business. Then move in fast to hold them up. Arthur, <laughs> I guess you can watch and give us marks out of ten. Right now, you're at a one. <laughs> Jesus. 
Can't believe you had to tag along and it's just to keep an eye on the girl. Remember the crap you gave me for turning up at that train job with Marston and Charles? I'm keeping an eye on you, not her. I know she's solid. All right. Very funny. Hey, she's probably robbed more folk than both of us put together. I wouldn't go quite that far. Let's cut up here. It'll be quicker. Mary Beth can pick a pocket faster than you can play, believe me. First time we laid eyes on her, she was being chased by three real angry-looking fellas. We thought, oh, that poor young girl getting picked on like that. But she had a bag full of wallets and gold watches. Happy memories, I'm sure. So will you two write about that in your journals? Can we get back to the matter at hand here? My job that I brought you both in on. All right. Just over this ridge, there's a spot that should give us a good view of the road. Let's leave the horses here so they're out of sight. I want a rifle with a scope. If you got one, we'll be back a bit from the road. Such a... Privilege to be instructed by the master himself. This way. See the road down there, Mary Beth. She ain't blind. Come on, you two. This is gonna be fun. All right, Arthur. Me and you will take cover behind that log over there. Okay, you're the boss. Oh, don't stand up on the log. Should be coming from the north any minute. You're up, Mary Beth. Well, all right then. You know what you're doing, right? Of course she knows what she's doing. As soon as the shooting starts, get low and get the hell out of there, okay? Of course. Here it comes. I put in a couple of shots to spook them, like, and then we'll move in. Are you sure about that? Your eyes ain't what they used to be, old fella. If you say so. It's the stagecoach, all right. Hey! Hey! Stop, please! Hey! Oh, thank you. What's the trouble here, miss? Oh, thank God. I seem to have got myself all spun around out here. My horse ran off, and, well, I don't know where I am. You must think I'm such a feather brain. What's what your name, doing? sir? Lawrence. Oh, Lawrence. <laughs> Would you gentlemen possibly give me a ride to the nearest town? This is a banking stage, miss. We can't be picking up passengers. Come on, Harry. Nice young girl like that. <laughs> and I'm sure we can That'll make an exception. Good time. <laughs> Shut up. I thought you were just gonna threaten. They seem threatened to me. So, we're killing them all, then? Well, you really think they was just going to give it up? Anyway, we can talk about this later. I'm going to bust in and grab the money. No, you leave that to me. Fine, fine. I lighten the pockets of our dearly departed friends here.
Whoa. That's a nice take. You did good, Sean. You too, Mary Beth. Hold ya. We'll split it up later. We better get out of here. I like how you swan into this at the last minute, and then make off with all the money. Split up and meet back at camp. Go! We don't have time to hang around. All right, all right. I'll see you boys later! 150 for the gang, $50 yeah. for Arthur. The end of those but what the heck big old buck could only be two stars looks pretty nice too all right all right guys that is gonna be the end for this episode of red dead redemption 2 we got a we did a lot today. Um, we ran into the KKK. Um, we went to San Denis for the first time right after, you know, on, while we were on the train that we killed Billy Midnight on. Then we had to go back to San Denis to get Giovanna. And we saved a man's wife um, from two dudes that were going to rape her. And then we robbed a stagecoach with Sean and Mary Beth. Well, I'll be hanged. Come on, I need some money here. Um, on the next episode, we are going to be talking uh, talking to Micah about whatever he's, he's on about. And, um, yeah. That'll be it. Later, guys. I got my leg blown off. What